it seems like to me that there are more and more young women with breast cancer these days and we have a Facebook message from one of those saying why do we have this comes from a Carolyn Pollock she says why are so many young women in their 20s and 30s yeah. getting breast cancer is this because of lifestyle stress our environment or genetics I think it's all of the above and it's a really important question that we're trying to understand it does feel like we're seeing more and more very young women with breast cancer there certainly is a genetic component and an interesting observation is that in women who have a genetic predisposition for breast cancer we're seeing it now at a younger age so their mothers were getting breast cancer maybe in their 50s or 60s and these women 30s, 40s, even late 20s. So what's the change? What's different? One factor we think is diet. In the last couple of decades, young girls, it's not what you're eating when you're in your 20s, it's what you're eating as a kid. Really? Yes. So we've had so much more food available, first of all. Kids are bigger than they used to be, more protein, and maybe what's in our food is different. Meaning processed foods yeah. and chemicals and, and what about and antibiotics and hormones in the poultry, in the meat, in the dairy products. And we're just beginning to look into that as, you know, could these factors be changing what's going on in a young woman's body so that hormonal balance gets shifted a little bit and maybe that's setting up for an earlier onset of breast cancer. It's a very interesting area of research now. It's a tough one to fight too. Yeah. I mean, you can. It's it, of course that's an argument to go to fresh foods, real foods, the things your your great grandmother would right, have that's known. That's right. The original stuff, eating fresh food off the farm. It wasn't coming from a big factory. Now, is part of this also you think because of the stress level? I mean, I hear about the percentage of body fat being so important. Right. And then comes along with that the inactivity. That's right. And, and stress levels of life Absolutely. today. Absolutely. So there's stress on two different levels in our bodies. There's the connection between our head and our body. Okay. Hard to understand, but we know it's there. And we know that when we're under a lot of emotional stress, I mean, you can feel it, right? Tense up. And your body is putting out those signals that are, you know, that turns on infl inflammation, inflammatory pathways, not good. And the other kind of stress, which comes, just as you were saying, from being overweight and inactive, may not be stress that you're feeling emotionally, although they may be linked, but that's putting a stress on the body also, turning on certain biochemical and molecular pathways through the insulin resistance pathways and other areas that we now see are linking obesity as a risk factor for developing cancer. Well, that would certainly explain a lot why the, why, why the breast cancer rates are just up so much. Yeah, and it's not just that, you know, it, breast cancer occurs in women who are overweight. There are a lot of skinny women who get breast cancer and active women who do. So it's also looking at not so much how much they're eating, but what is in the food. Also, the antibiotic question could be very interesting. When we give antibiotics to young children, we're killing some of the normal bacteria in the body also and changing what we call that microbiome, the bacterial balance in our body, may also be affecting long-term what's happening. So lots of interesting areas of research now. Yeah, because we're really talking about children's nutrition right. here. Not even young adulthood when, you have to, when women start thinking about their breasts. But we should be thinking about what we're feeding our, our young children and, and how we keep them active too.